Hi everybody, welcome to g for g here on YouTube. Today we are in D.C. And we're taking a look at what I have noticed is the first real synergy for teammates that I have found in a game since Marvel Avengers Alliance. And I am quite thrilled to take a look at that. So... I'm just going to run through a couple of my clicks really quick for uh, my dailies, by the way. Uh, the These events and the Hero Limited events do count for one of the dailies. And I'll point that out in just a moment. So the hero challenges and the upgrade events do count for one of the dailies. And it looks like we have the Batgirl stuff has gone live. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we get to take a look at that in a little bit. So the Batgirl challenge is live. And in a day we will have the uh, Twisted Toy Factory go live. And then in about a week we'll have the Bane challenge. So... The live event, the Shazam start one battle in a live event. The timed events, of course, count for that, as do the hero challenges. So that's pretty cool. If you want a really, really good Android device for playing this game, play this on a Nexus 9. Uh, I, I think it also would probably be very good on... A shield tablet, but this game looks so pretty on a Nexus 9. It just seems to be the right uh, the right DPI and resolution to make this game look beautiful. And even this screen, um, I think I get th like three rows on the Nexus 9 the way the resolution is. It's a little bit better. So here are my heroes currently. Uh, I've got Broccoli Head. Picked up him semi recently and am definitely enjoying Metaphil quite a bit. Uh, he has been fun. He's been a really solid anchor for a lot of my teams recently. My cyborg is now up to five stars thanks to uh, farming one of his bio missions. On top of what I got from either the store or something. Uh, still liking Harley Quinn. Suicide Squad Harley Quinn does put in a lot of work for me. She shows up a lot. I kind of fell out of Deadshot and then brought him back. He's been doing stuff. I have not used the pre-order Wonder Woman in quite some time. I really haven't gone near her in a while. Zatanna is still... She's still all there. She comes with me everywhere. I mean, if I do a little bit of PvP, she comes with me. If I'm doing um, PvE and, like, progression through the story and everything, uh, she's just always there. I mean, she's my main support right now. And I know I do have some others. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade that. Not a new proc, but more damage. Um, there are some others. But I find she works out pretty well. And if it is a tougher mission, uh, Broccoli Head and Zaytana do well together just to keep everybody pretty healthy. Uh, there's Sinestro. There's my Cheetah Chemo. That was the first real synergy uh, that I had been dealing with on the Bleed teams. They were fun for a little bit. I still like them. I just haven't used them a whole lot. Here's my... Survival suit Lex Luthor, who I know could be a decent uh, backup healer. I just haven't gone into him a whole lot. Here we have Star Sapphire, who I picked up recently. Haven't gotten to use a whole lot. I've uh, been working on this Harley Quinn a little bit on the side for the dailies. But I still actually haven't brought her out on the field yet. 
Here's Huntress. I happened to pick her up recently through, I think, a crystal purchase. Supergirl that nobody really likes, and I can understand why. She just... Her output is, is kind of low and just a little bit garbage. Um, I call him Pyro. I know he's not Pyro, but he's Firestorm. He looks like Pyro to me for a little bit. Green Lantern, still pretty cool. He's not too bad. Uh, I'd like to be able to get Dr. Fate up there a little bit, as I think his shielding could be interesting. I, I poke around with him a little bit, but I haven't used him a whole lot. Flash is, is really falling off for me for somebody who used to be in uh, my PvP teams and whatnot. I really should farm his missions and get him up to two star at least. Never use Green Arrow. Recently unlocked Catwoman. I've been hearing a lot of good things about her. And this is, we're going to come back to her because we're going to talk about one of the first near full team synergies that I've discovered. Suicide Squad Joker, Swamp Thing, Raven, who I maybe used like once or twice, and uh, Batman the Cape Crusader. And here are my ones that I don't have unlocked yet and their progress. So, Robin is getting there. I think he unlocks on the next daily that I get. Superman, couple of the Batmans, the original Joker, the other Sinestro, Canary. All right, so something that I happened to notice recently was a nice little three-piece synergy going on between three different members. And they're not members that really you would think would go together, but they have this nice little tie-in, which was kind of surprising. So first up is Sinestro. So Sinestro can be part of this little team up that I have an idea of thanks to fear itself. Fear itself applies an enrage to an enemy. And then of course you have Broccoli with this hypnotic light that says 5 strength down and 10% turn meter down on an enemy. 3 speed down also if the target is enraged. So much the way we have Cheetah and chemo doing bleeds, Sinestro and Broccoli deal with enrages. Well, now there's something else that cropped up thanks to Catwoman. Catwoman has an interesting ability here of gain invisibility. Invisibility to duration goes up if a teammate is taunting. So... Guess who has a taunt? Shield of the veteran. Shield of a veteran on Broccoli. So, you can do an interesting three-piece right there. Uh, he does taunting and goes off of enrages. He does the enrages. A Catwoman likes people who taunt. Probably because she just wants to hide behind a meat shield. So, I think that is... Kind of interesting. It's nice to see the synergy between teammates now go three deep. I've seen a lot of two-person synergies so far in the game. It's really nice to see it getting down to uh, three. I think I have somebody who does a random possibility of an enrage or a possibility to enrage the entire team and I might have to find that bear with me a moment over here I could swear I ran into somebody recently who was like has a chance to enrage the entire team or something 
Oh, I know it's not Bane. I kind of like Bane. He's... He's fun at times. It's been a while since I've really used him. Um, but I, I've used him a bit here and there. So we know there's the fear itself. I don't think it's going to be Lex. Is it Star Sapphire? I don't think so. As I look through this, um, I know there are some, are some shielding synergies going on. Ah, here it is. Come and get it. Gain taunt and three evasion ups, 10% chance. So she was the other one. So we now actually have it. I knew, I thought there was a fourth coming up for this. So Manchester Harley Quinn really goes with it. She has a taunt herself. And evasion. So she's like what they call an evasion tank. Um, back in the classic days of MMOs, you always had the really beefy high armor, high hit point tanks. But then you had something called an evasion tank, which are tanks that were they did most of their survivability through dodges. And it applied to a class called Rogue. Where rogues could pop a long cooldown called evasion and tank for quite a while because no attacks would get through and then evasion would end and you wanted to make sure either that enemy was dead or it was back on your tank. So Harley Quinn is actually what we would call an evasion tank. And so she has it right here and come and get it. With a chance to enrage the... I mean, it's only 10%, but she has the chance to enrage the entire team on her taunt. So she's got some really good synergy with Catwoman right there. I mean, she basically doubles up on everything uh, that is needed. But, so you can build this team of Broccoli, Sinestro... Jester Harley Quinn and Catwoman and you've got the taunts you've got the enrages it's it's all really cool and you're really and you're doubling up on the synergy over there making it uh, pretty nice and deep which is cool one of the things that I like to do and this is not a um, an on paper synergy it's one that actually comes out via combat if you're lucky anybody who has a solid level one or solid first ability i like to pair up with harley quinn thanks to distract and destroy now why i like to do that i think i'll actually escalate that a little bit upgrade that is that her distract and destroy has a relatively solid chance of pulling in one of your teammates and having them do their level one along with Harley Quinn's turn meter down and agility down. So now she doesn't do any damage with that ability, but she messes up the enemy a little bit. And what's really cool is anytime you have somebody whose first ability does something good either to the enemy or themselves, it's really handy because you get them to do it for free. So, if Harley Quinn is paired up with Metaphil or Broccoli, he uses a C construct. That applies a men on a random ally. So, in one turn, you can have Brock like at the beginning of combat, Broccoli can shield himself with the taunt, and then Harley Quinn can have him use a C construct, and you get a free heal. Or do C construct on Metaphil's turn and have Harley Quinn use that. And now you have two random men's on your team for free. So I like doing that a lot with her. And there's a reason why she's in a lot of my fights. Same thing goes for Cyborg. Cyborg's charged cannon is a 
uh, it is a hundred percent to hit chance normally after using triangulating blast. So, if you're lucky and Harley Quinn goes before Cyborg and Cyborg gets pulled into attacking and does his number one, you could blast somebody with his number two right in the first round because he's buffed himself. So, that's always a lot of fun. Let's see Venom Punch. If he's already mending, then it's pretty cool to pull his Venom Punch in, but that's a little harder to set up than some of the others. Let's see who else has some good number ones. Purge two buffs from an enemy, flexes above. So that would be pretty good. Um, have Harley Quinn use her, uh, her number two on somebody that has a bunch of buffs on them. And then if Lex was out there, he has a good chance of purging them off. Solid. Not the best, but solid. Special damage and apply one strength down to the enemy team. So she's applying an agility down on that move. And then Star Sapphire would apply a strength down. Pretty good for bosses. I'm just going to skip right past Supergirl because fuck her. She's awful. If she's paired up with her other self. Light damage to an enemy. 50% chance to do. That could be interesting. If you got that. That proc over there, that random chance, could be pretty good. I These two, if I remember correctly, had some synergy. Firestorm and um, Dr. Naboo over there. So, Nuclear Beam, special damage to an enemy, plus three damage per intelligence up on Firestorm. Not that good, unless your Firestorm was already buffed. So I don't think that one works out quite well. If I remember correctly, Nabu's got some intelligence up, right? Yeah, there it is. Blessing of Nabu. Purge seven debuffs. Wow. Could you even have seven debuffs on you in this game? I don't think I've ever seen more than two or three. Special damage to an enemy. True damage if Dr. Fate is debuffed. That's interesting. Flash, we know about. Speed Punch. Screw Green Arrow. Catwoman. Damage to an enemy. Purge a buff and gain a speed up if Catwoman is invisible. Require setup. Not good in the first round, but if her misdirection was up and Harley Quinn pulled out a Whiplash out of her that wouldn't be too bad damage to an enemy 50% chance to deal additional light damage to each enemy that would be really good if you pull that one out for free I mean an AoE for free is pretty solid damage to an enemy apply men to a random ally so that would be solid too that's just like broccoli damage to an enemy 50% chance of silence of Batman's visible Requires setup. And finally, damage and apply a critical chance down to an enemy. So anybody who's got a strong first skill always, uh, I think, pairs off with that Harley Quinn rather nicely. All right, let's take a look at the Batgirl challenge over here. Uh, pretty even mix over here. No one real strong class. Special conditions. Level 1 heroes required. Bonus for birds of prey heroes. So... Team number, where did it go? Is it my team number three? So this was a, a team that I've been running for a little bit. This was my um, anti-blue team that I was going with. 
Uh, let's try and see if we can get some of these bonuses. They're weak. Bonus for the Birds of Prey heroes. You know, we're going to hope that Cyborg and his power and Zaytana can carry these weaklings. No, not you. You would be good. You'd be a good anchor, but... Okay, so let's take a look at the first Batgirl fight. But I'm, I'm happy to see that kind of multiple person team building going on now and see that possibility in this game. Because you, I haven't seen it in too many games since. Uh, for the Oz game, it's always one character. So there's no synergy there. It's just the one person fighting. It's just Tin Man or, you know, Scarecrow or Jack or whatever. Um, Marvel Future Fight, yeah, there, there are definitely team-up bonuses, but it's different. It's all stuff that's set up outside of the battle, and it the game tells you. I mean, it tells you, use Captain America, Iron Man, and Hulk, and you'll have, you know, these kind of bonuses. So you don't have to think about it. You actually have a button you click, and you can assign that team. The Iron Maiden Legacy the Beast game does have it, and it is it is fairly rich, but you have to go digging to find it. You'll see um you'll see like one of your guys will apply special up on your team will like raise your special stat, and then you'll have somebody else on the team who does more damage based on their special stat. It's there. It's just a little bit harder to find. Finding out this recently, uh, here in the DC game, I was really happy to see that with Catwoman. That's where I first um, thought of a big synergy team. I mean, like I said, the Chemo Cheetah team leapt off the paper, and a lot of people had already talked about that team up, but... To see like a good three or four man group all work together based off of buffs and debuffs and everything, I thought that was pretty cool. Gain three evasion ups, okay, we can do that. It does not really look like the icon of a defensive ability, but okay. Looks like it's supposed to be some Purge a buff and gain a speed up. If she's visible, I think she's still... No, nope, she just does a speed up. God, she really gets down and does a litter box scratch. That's so bad. Kind of reminds me of... Oh, what was that... Character in Darkstalkers... With the blue hair and like the white. Her like default was like blue hair. And she had the white. And she was a cat character in that. And she did. Like one of her abilities was called like litter box scratch or something like that. And then she had the roll. Shit I should have healed. I hope that doesn't bite my cyborg on the ass. So uh, speaking of that. Look at where cyborg is okay. Do you guys find that the person in that top center position gets way more attacks than anybody else? I, I, I find maybe it's it's a cyborg thing or I, like I don't know what, but I swear to God, whoever is in that position on the field where I have cyborg now, seems to get way more hatred from the enemy than anybody else. Alright, that's an AoE, so that doesn't count, but I feel that the person in that slot right there that you just saw seems to attract way more attention. 
Uh, no, he doesn't have the right buff. Caught that one before I wasted my ability. So, having these two weakies on the team over here is kind of hurting a little bit. Ooh, a miss. Oh, maybe she was invisible or something. I don't know. But it actually purged the buffs, though. Interesting. It missed, but it still got rid of her buffs. That's probably a bug. Yep, cyborg carried. All right, so we got five of her bios. That's pretty cool. Let's see how many it's going to take to unlock her. That's just, that's classic Batgirl right there. I mean, you don't get more classic than that outfit. That's like 60s live action Batman looking Batgirl. That actress who played that Batgirl, she had a nice, nice, nice butt. Five out of 50. Yeah, that's going to take a while. Let's see what she has. Precision Strike, damage to an enemy, 50% damage if the target has no buffs. So she's going to pair up nicely with anybody who removes buffs, and we definitely have some people who do that. Target analyzed, gain two evasion ups, purge two buffs from an enemy. So she feeds her own first ability. Say cheese, damage to an enemy, 50% damage. If evasion up is on back roll, if no evasion up, gain two... Wow, that's almost like listening to... That's almost like reading a Magic the Gathering card or something. That's, that's a hell of a lot of conditions for an ability. Missed me. Light damage and purge. One buff from attacker if Batgirl evades. That's cool. Oracle. Team leader. All allies gain intelligence up when evading. Wow. She seems like she could be a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the Robin that we can also unlock pretty soon here. Ambush. Damage to an enemy. 30% crit chance if Robin is invisible. Gain invisibility. If Robin is already invisible, gain... Turn meter and heal. That's pretty cool. Damage to an enemy. Apply four bleeds if Robin is invisible. Wow. Passive ability and leadership. Each ally has a 30% chance to go invisible when critically hit. That could be fun. Alright. So that about wraps it up for this video and the main content over here. Pretty much what I'm going to be doing now is just farming my heroics for bios. There was somebody who was, what was it, Flash that was down at the 15 level? And I was like, oh, I should farm. I think it was Flash. Oh, I don't have a Flash farm. Huh. That explains why he's down to 15. How many do I have of her? She's 425. So, yeah, uh, that's about it for me here. I was kind of interested to get out a video on that whole three, four person synergy team up over there. That, that taunt and um, enrage mechanic over there. And in all honesty, I mean, that seems like a pretty decent team. Uh, having Broccoli be part of it, having Sinestro, who I think does really nice damage, and, you know, he can take out a healer with that in range. Anytime somebody's in range, they can only do their first ability, so if you don't want somebody to heal 
like right as they're about ready to die or somebody's putting up too big of a shield for you to get through you can always enrage them so we have broccoli we have sinestro we have harley quinn and we have catwoman that could be a four person taunt and uh enrage team over there and that's that's pretty cool so hope you guys found this video interesting if you've got any comments on my roster let me know like if the if you've got somebody who's like, hey, you're really overlooking so-and-so, get them bumped up and, and give them a shot. Do I have a flash for him? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Probably coming up soon. Um, yeah, let me know. But again, to go over it, my, my major ones are Cyborg. Broccoli has been pretty handy lately. He's starting to do some new work for me uh suicide harley quinn's been doing a lot for me for a while i use her a ton zatanna if i need heals and everything but she's pretty much in all like the progression content and then i sometimes go to deadshot i also enjoyed the bleed teams for a while and really get a bump sinestro up i think he's deserving of a three star over here he's he's begun to fall down on me a little bit lately not because he's bad i've just had more powerful people than him, but uh, yeah. So thanks for checking out this video over here, guys, and you have a, yourselves a good weekend. Peace out, folks.